Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. In today's video, we are going to be looking at message encryption. So, all right, last video, we looked and created a Fernet object. So, we, we created our key, then we passed our key into our Fernet class, then created a Fernet object. And I kind of went too quickly and I did not show you that this is dealing with byte strings so we do need to make sure that every message is a byte string so all right so now this is how simply it is to create a an encrypted message so all right so we have a Fernet object message Fernet object well I'm getting ahead of myself dir on our F object, our fronted object, and we have encrypt. So help on F dot encrypt, and it's literally this simple. But one important thing is this needs to be a byte string. So message equals fronted object encrypt byte then this is the message. Now look at this. And this, <laughs> this is the encrypted message right here. So make sure you're staying tuned until the end. But please, 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 this was actually a discussion that has been happening over on Discord and that was actually one of the uh, comments down below. But if you've not joined Discord, that is, I can't encourage you enough because you, there's, it's faster communication and there are many people over there and we're all in this together. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please drop any comments, questions, video requests. Join over on Discord. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.